Hello, today is Monday, the 14th of December, and it's my 24th press up challenge. So I'll begin with 30 deep breaths and then I'll do the challenge. Stopped at 47. It's going to be a bit more of a challenge than I expected. Today I wanted to mention that um, <clears throat> I'm going on a 48 hour fast. I stopped eating last night or yesterday evening at about 4 o'clock had a substantial meal of beef stew and tripe and um, I'll not eat today and probably eat sometime tomorrow or maybe even on Wednesday. We'll see how it goes. So this will be my fourth 48 hour fast or so, 40, 40 something hour fast. And contrary to what most people think, fasting is not starvation. Fasting allows the body to make use of um, stored energy or your stored, stored fuel sources. When you eat, um, the body takes about uh, a good four hours to use up um, the food that you've eaten and if there's any excess it's generally stored away for future use. Um, so the longer you can go without eating or the longer you can keep your meals apart will enable the body to <clears throat> use the stored fat, stored fuel source. 
the body's two fuel sources are glucose from carbohydrates and fat, which is the calories that's been stored away for future use when the body has no access to food uh, source. So, <clears throat> um, obviously, you know, if you are a pregnant woman or if you're underweight and if you've got eating disorders, you don't really want to be doing this or you can do it under medical supervision. Likewise, if you've got other health issues, you might want to consult your doctor first. But if you're healthy and you want to lose some fat, then this is the way to do it. The benefits of <clears throat> going for an extended period of time without eating enables um, your growth hormones to increase and that helps to build uh, proteins and cells in your body. Um, you also find that you will have more energy contrary to what most people think because the hormone adrenaline is uh, stimulated <clears throat> Also, your sympathetic uh, nervous system is stimulated, so that will give you more energy to, to uh, keep going because you're using your fat stores, aren't you? So you've got your energy from there. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the best way of um, doing this really is on an extended fast of over 24 to 28 hours because that will really really get to the state of autophagy where the body is actually uh, it's like a detoxifying process where the body is actually eating up all the dead cells enabling your body to create more new cells to keep going and uh, if you think about it, uh, you know, it's generally, it, it, you, you're told to try and finish eating your last meal before bedtime, at least three to four hours before bed. And if you sleep for eight hours, that means it's at least 12 hours before you have your next meal. So that in itself is a fasting period and, you know, you're, you don't die in your sleep, do you? Um, so the body is still making use of um, energy from the stores to continue running. So on that note, I'll catch you on Wednesday and we'll give you an update on my fasting progress. Have a nice day. Bye.